What movie trope or cliche that never happens in real life has happened to you? I was on a bus when the song Roxanne came on. One guy and one girl started to sing along with the song loudly. Then a few around them started to sing with them. Then the whole bus started to sing. I will admit I was singing as well. But then around 8 people started to break out and dance. I was in shock all I could think was I am in a dirty Disney movie. So the whole bus was singing and dancing and then the song ended. We acted like nothing happened and sat in silence. It been 10 years we'll never forget that bus ride. Once I was on the subway at like 2am. The train got delayed and was stuck for 20 some minutes. Around minute 16. Someone started singing Bohemian Rhapsody. Then everyone chimed in, scream singing it at the top of our lungs. 5 seconds after the song ended, the train began moving and everybody cheered. God I love New York. My uncle Tony was carrying his baby son along a busy street when someone bumped into him, almost knocking his son out of his hands. My uncle turned round and shouted, are you blind in the face of the guy who bumped into him? The guy replied, yes. Yes I am and that's when my uncle saw the cane. In all fairness my uncle apologized. I was sunbathing on my balcony in NYC and hollered at a cute boy who was smoking a cigarette on his. He went inside, brought out a huge chalkboard and started writing on it. Held it up over his head. It was his phone number. Dawn of the Dead style. Better his number than some bloody handprints. I fell in love with a co-worker that I hated and now we're engaged. The initial hatred was mutual but somehow we managed to soften up to each other and it all played out like a cliche rom-com. Did one of you screw up after you realized you were in love? Causing a huge misunderstanding that could be handled by like 3 sentences. But instead you make a huge romantic, and normally insane, gesture. I had this friend who was a chubby 5 stroke 10 slacker stoner dude. Worked 2 days a week in a supermarket and got blazed and played video games the rest of the time. He was basically Seth Rogen. He inexplicably had this successful, ambitious 10 stroke 10 girlfriend. And interest wise they had almost nothing in common with each other. Didn't make much sense as a couple. But they went out for a good 5 years. A crush rejected me and she went right back into her apartment. A second after she closed the door it started raining like frick. Only thing missing was some sad music playing. A couple of months ago, I developed a pretty strong crush on a woman whom I was becoming quick friends with. Before I got around to asking her on a date, I found out that she is planning to become a nun. I have really bad luck with women as is and I just couldn't help but laugh. I think, out of all my friends, I'm the only person that this would realistically happen to. My non-Catholic friends were shocked that this sort of thing happens in real life. Then go for it before she actually becomes a nun. Come on. I am the female version of good luck shark. My last two boyfriends got married within a year of us breaking up. I joke with my current boyfriend that if he starts to feel like marriage is in his future. To just let me know and I'll get out of his hair. Oh, same here but the actual real life good luck chuck. At the time all the exes I've had found someone within 6 months of breaking up and all of them have gotten married to the dude they started dating after we had broken up. I'm at like 7 exes now. Saw a beautiful girl while riding public transport to work one day. Told myself that if I saw her again, I'd work up the courage to go talk to her. A few days later. The only empty seat on the ride was next to me. Doors open and she's the first one to get on. Walks over and sits down beside me. I strike up a conversation and end up with her phone number before I get off. Then you called her and told her to meet you at your apartment complex. Where she dropped a pen that you both tried to pick up at the same time. Then you strike up another conversation. Went out for dinner. And boned her. Ra convinces some random chap to join her and 30 other young ladies to go on a pub crawl and do a strip tease on the bus. Ra and this fellow were getting pretty handsy with each other by this point. He agrees to do the strip and lo and behold he has a tattoo of his family crest which matches hers. They were cousins. They sat in silence the rest of the night. My great uncle died final destination style driving behind a truck with wooden logs on it. I hate driving behind those things after hearing about that. I got hit by a car on my bike. As I started to cross an intersection, near s couple bars at 2.30 in the morning, a car turned left. I had the light. I figured, 
If I break he'll hit the front and I'm fricked. If I sped up he'd hit the back and I'm fricked. The car was going about 25 when it hit and I leaped off my bike from standing on the pedals over the hood of the car. Tuck and roll. Ended up on my feet like Bruce Lee. They pulled over and when they saw me walking up to them like the Terminator they hauled butt. Someone got their license plate and I sued. They had to buy me a new bike. A way better one. And I got a thousand dollars. I would have liked to see it though. I felt like a bad butt. They were rich college kids. I almost laughed when their defense started going on with so and so's father is owner of whatever. Business isn't as active in the community blah 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 like their fathers had something to do with them driving drunk and a hit and run to avoid a DUI. I should have doubled the price. I married a girl who implied she would kill herself if she was without me. I hopped on a cavalcade of abuse and infidelity for 10 years, punctuated with her stints in an institution. I was so stressed out by her that I would literally get heart palpitations before she came home from any of these stays. Luckily, I was bailed out when she fell in love with her best friend and took off. I filed for divorce which took another year because my spiteful ex wanted to punish me by delaying her signature. Borderline personality disorder is not fun. There is a happy ending however. The divorce finally went through, and I decided to take a little in town vacation. I got a nice hotel room and treated myself to an elaborate dinner. When I had finished my fantastic meal I gushed to the waiter that it was the best I'd have eaten. She told me that the chef was available if I wanted to meet her. Being the Irish gabber that I am, I gladly accepted. A few minutes later, the chef came to my table and we had what could only be described as a love at first sight moment. I'm not even sure what we said to each other, if anything. At first, I asked if she was free after her shift and we have been together ever since. Maybe 10 years ago at this point, a friend of mine and two of his female friends visited for a long weekend. We were walking around the city giving them a tour, having a good time. There was some chemistry between one of the girls and I. I'm trying my best play a cool and casually impress this girl when right as we were about to cross a busy intersection, an elderly lady asked if I would help her cross. I couldn't believe it. Of course I obliged and I looked back to see both girls melting, and my friend giving me the you've got to be kidding me face. Suffice to say, later that night after we went out for dinner and drinks, the girl came back to my place and showed her appreciation for me being such a nice guy. Thanks old lady, best wing woman ever. I got circled by a bunch of kids on bikes that wanted to beat my butt for hanging out with some girl that one of them liked. I was so scared I cried and pee myself. They felt bad and let me leave unharmed. Comma and that is why my 24th birthday will always be my worst. Pizza girl came over and fricked me. Full disclosure, we were dating at the time, but she was wearing the uniform and brought pizza, so it counts. I was helping my dad clean out my grandfather's workshop. My dad was handing down this metal object to me from the attic and it slipped from his fingers and nailed me in the head, knocking me off the ladder. It was an anvil. Well, this usually happens in a different type of movie, but was out having dinner with a female friend. We had a standing tradition of meeting for Sunday night dinners. It was just a time for both of us to get away. In the middle of a random conversation about something mundane, I said something. She nods, then says, by the way, if you and your girlfriend ever want to have a threesome, I'm game. I just stared. She blushed a little, but went on to say that she was serious and based on other conversations wanted me to know. A few weeks later it actually happened. Go on. You know when you see in a movie when someone's looking at someone across the street and then a large vehicle goes past and the person they were looking at disappears? I'd seen one way they do that which is simply that the actor runs along beside the truck at the same speed as it goes past so it appears they vanished. So my friend was across the road and saw me and I was waiting to cross. Until a van goes by relatively slowly, I take chance and start jogging alongside it down the street so it looks like I mysteriously disappeared. I crossed further down and walked up behind him and he's understandably confused as to how I disappeared like that. Amnesia. I won't go into too much detail but I am missing a couple of days. It's at least a plausible form of it and that it was from a physically traumatic accident, so it makes sense why the brain decided F it and deleted the memories. Saw this insanely hot guy in a bar in Paris. 
drank enough to work up the courage to speak to him. We swapped numbers before he left. The next day he messaged me in the morning, asked if I'd like to see a movie. I said sure. He said he'd let me know when he was free. A few hours later I got a text meet me outside Cartier on the Champs Elysees in 30 minutes. My friends and I had planned a girly night in with pizza and cookies, but they bullied me into going on the date saying this is your gossip girl moment. It was a terrible date overall, but I got swept up in the excitement and gossip girlness of the text. I'm glad you weren't sold to a Saudi prince or Russian businessman. The cops came to where I work to interrogate me and I never stopped stacking boxes and going about my business while they questioned me. That is as movie as it gets. Well done. I had my first proper kiss at 12am on my. It was dip kiss on a beach with fireworks and a live band playing in the background. My definition of a dip kiss and yours must be very different. Haha. <laughs> My first kiss with my ex was the whole first date do we kiss do we not kiss thing. After I got home I decided that I wasn't going to sleep until I got my first freaking kiss. So drove to his house, texted him to come outside and when he did I went right over and laid one on him. I felt like such a bad butt. You did good applauds. I was waiting for my luggage at the airport, and a woman asked me to help picking up a bag from the treadmill. It was a small bag but super heavy. I asked her, what do you carry in this bag? An anvil she said yes, and showed me this small anvil inside that she used for leather working. Love at first sight. Saw my husband across the dance floor over 15 years ago now and have spent nearly every day together since. Small child in backseat during total or partial rollover car accident that doesn't even really realize anything was wrong. So, long story short, I was too. We were borrowing a free and so pickup to transport our goats from our place to their winter home. On the way back I'm safely strapped into my car seat in the middle of the bench seat in the back. We hit black ice and go sideways into the ditch. Doors are jammed. I'm just sitting parallel to the ground thinking, cool, I've never ridden a car like this before. I actually remember this event in surprising detail but oddly enough it is not my earliest memory. That comes a few months beforehand. Still too, but completely insignificant event. Comma cool, I've never ridden a car like this before. LOL my sides, you were one chill butt toddler. I had a summer fling in Europe with an Australian, I'm American. We met at a music festival and fell in love instantly. I now live in Australia and we've been together for 3 years. Summer lovin' happened so fast. When I was just starting to go out with my wife, this was about 6 years ago, I also had a really close female friend who I would go out to lunch with about once a week and we'd just shoot the breeze and have a great time. She would also tell me about her dating life. This was a total friend zone thing but I liked it because I had other irons in the fire. Anyways, the day after my crush and I had just had our first kiss and an amazing evening date. I went to lunch with the other girl as we'd planned a week or so ago. On a random spot on a huge university campus I greeted her with a brief hug as we always did, and my date from the last night walked right past US. I went white as a sheet and could barely eat during lunch. There was no chance to salvage the situation as it happened, because there was a sea of people and she was gone as soon as I noticed her. Anyways it all worked out, but it took some explaining and making up. I guess she really liked me enough, but still. The one moment when I was physically engaged with the other girl with whom I'd never had any further physical relationship and never planned to was just too much for the old universe. <laughs> Went on a blind date, saw a shooting star and had a sudden realization that I was going to end up marrying this guy. Ended up marrying that guy. <laughs> Did that thing where I had a wireless microphone attached to my collar, forgot about it, walked away, and started talking crap about everyone listening actually did that. This is more of a sitcom type of cliche. Years ago my ex had a dream that I cheated on her. When she woke up she was mad at me. She said it was too real not to be true so I was in the doghouse for two weeks for something I didn't do. We eventually broke up because she cheated on me in real life but her excuse for cheating was because I cheated first in the dream. Problate but I found out my dad was not my real dad so I got in contact with my bio father. Find out we have the same birthday, same interests and hobbies even though we have never meet. 
He died the morning he was supposed to fly out and meet me. Really sad. <laughs> Fell in love at first sight. I never thought it was real. Never. Never never. I thought it was just cliche. Only in movies. But it happened to me and it was wonderful. Broke up later cause she cheated on me. But I still love her. I think I always will. I was lost, separated by my parents in a strange city place, and was randomly rescued by my real life childhood hero who just happened to be there, Hulk Hogan, Calgary 1986. Thanks Hulk, you know if you think about it hard enough, this is a reverse Batman origin story. One time in my apartment complex this girl who I really wanted to bone got in. She stood next to me and awkwardness just swept over us. Silence. She then dropped a pen in between me and her. Like the gentleman I am I bent down to pick it up for her. But she bent down at the same time. We viciously knocked heads. I said I'm sorry and crap. But she was just laughing about it. This sparked a conversation and we went out to dinner. But then in bed she had this odd thing that I wasn't really into. So I called it off. I did something similar with my now wife on our first date. Went to do the cliche stretch arm on shoulder move. Elbowed her in the head so hard she yelled a little in the movie theater. <laughs> Sitting bolt upright in bed when waking from a nightmare. I always thought it was ridiculous that people always do this in films and on TV until I did it once from some horrific nightmare. <laughs> Walking home in the rain and the end a car drives over a puddle and completely soaks me. I've actually had this happen twice in my life. <laughs> was hanging out with some friends in high school. We were trying to figure out what we could do for fun. I checked my wallet to see how much money I had, and a moth flew out. I was so pee, because normally I didn't have money, but this time I did. Still have no idea how it got in there. Started tindering after a two year bout of self discovery and soul searching after a super toxic relationship. Matched with this one random girl and we started messaging and shooting the crap and finding that we actually had a lot in common. Eventually she invited me out to a late night diner date. We talked and laughed over a meal and then we ended up going to an empty parking lot in my car. We just put the seats back, opened the sunroof, and listened to the music we both loved. Eventually we were dancing outside under the stars. Then eventually we were cuddling up in the back seat. And then we kissed. I'm still convinced it was the most perfect Tinder day to have ever happened. We're still together 8 months later. At my place of employment I watch cameras and get paid for being a tattletale. So, one day a car comes to my work with no plates and a scratched off VIN. The dash is torn up and a screwdriver sits in the center console. All signs of a sketch but vehicle theft. So the police get involved and they want to wait for the driver so they can pull them over. I'm not exactly sure why they didn't just impound it. I'm guessing they had their reasons. Anyways to the point when the kids get into this car and see the cops they hit it pedal to the metal style. They're out of the parking lot and over bridge with three units all flashing behind them. Until they pull into a drive through And just like that. All GTA like they lose their stars. The cops are mystified and can't find them. A guy once did the move on me at the cinema when we were about 14 stroke 15. Genuinely faked a yawn then tried to casually put his arm over my shoulders. I think something might be wrong with me. I really thought by the move you meant he made a hole in the bottom of the popcorn bucket and stuck his dong in it so when you reached in you got a surprise. I was dating that girl that was like half a year older than me. One day in my room I was trying to teach her how to solve a Rubik's cube. At some point the teaching led to kissing. She tossed me on my bed, was all over me and about to teach me something when we got interrupted. Follow that cab. Actually happens a lot in NYC when you are out with a group of men or friends that can't fit into one cab. Do P tropes count twin sisters? I was in a poly relationship with two sisters. They were fraternal twins, but kinda looked alike. I was originally dating just one of the sisters. They both approached me and asked if I would consider dating both of them at once. I agreed and we came up with a poly contract defining the boundaries of the relationships. It was a lot of work, but I feel I'm a better person for the experience. Freshman year of swim team. 
We're not doing the greatest in this meet and we needed all the points possible. My last event was a relay, and our relay team would need to improve by about 15 seconds from our previous time to win the race. Cue dramatic inspirational extremely cheesy speech from our team captain. We won by almost 10 seconds. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.